And we are recording. We have finished hey. this Mob Stadium thing. And I will be reviewing every fucking map, too. And how I experienced them. And I have that all set up. One of them, which is the third one, is a zero, obviously. But anyway, we're going to review the last one, which was Last Back Tone. I think that was last. That was called. Could be wrong. We will find out from some guy on the internet who can correct us. But anyway. Um, first the impression. one person that can correct us is the creator, whatever. No, he hasn't said anything to us yet, anyway. But anyway, as we, let's get back to track. We finished this map. We were successful in that Keo was the last person to survive. First impressions of this map. It's a hard map. Yeah. Yeah, it is. On one hand, you have the checkpoint system, which was what we all complained about through this whole entire series. But then you had the fact that there was long gauntlet matches of like 21 tanks we killed. Of five restarts we had to do. Of constant spawn of common and specials. And not enough health. Yeah. But we did rescue the gnome as much as we could. So that's a plus. Um, anyone you want to add to that? No. I have nothing to add. Okay. Yo, Dread. No. All right. So I guess we're going to go to straight to the review. Five stars max, one, one star minimum. Same rotation as always. Meta goes first, then Keel, then Dread, then I. Huh. Number of infected. What would you think about that, Meta? There was 22-12 in terms of the zombie count. Um... Actually, I thought the number of infected was very appropriate. Like, it got to that point where you, where it swarmed us. But that's probably because we were like... I think it was because we were in that one arena stadium mm -hmm. where it felt like they were kind of overwhelming when really they weren't. Like, there were only... I can see, like, there were... I guess I'm saying that. I could see that there were a few infected around us, but they were just annoying enough to... They weren't, like, too annoying to a point where they would completely overrun us. We managed to get through that, no problem, especially once we understood how to beat the freaking mini-bosses. Right. So, number infected, I'm going to get... Actually, I'm going to give that three-quarters of a star, just because we did fail a few times. Right. Is that it? No, you know what? Fuck that. Full star. Yes. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, uh, Kyo? Yep. This one is... There's a lot of zombies. And there was a lot of your own control over how it how many you got, too, you know? With that, those slider ones. Well, yeah. Which... Really, you know... The game gives the player maybe a little bit too much control over the difficulty of those parts, in it? Yeah, I'll admit. And outside of that, though, it did like to send a lot of... of special infected after you got... In those tanks in the small area, which was a problem the second time through that area. Right. There's also the problem in the first one where we got wrecked by three, two tanks in the fucking little room. Yeah, I mean... Overall... Mm, three quarters of a stall, I'd say. Alright. Uh, Dread? Nah... I guess I'll kind of agree with Keo on this three quarters because it did get a little meh at times, especially when the surprise tanks showed up. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna give it half. Um, it did give us some control times, but it did feel overwhelming too much of the time. I mean, we got to those arena the first part. If we didn't, since we the first time we played it, and we didn't know that that was gonna happen, we had this massive fucking spawn, and it just completely destroyed us. The fact that in the very start we we had a horde plus specials plus two tanks it it gets overwhelming at times and we managed to get through it we managed to pro it like a boss but it really didn't give us any breaks until we got to the slot one that made to push the slotty th sliding thing that was the only time we actually had a break it had a control of the outcome. Other than that, we didn't. And even the final battle with the the freaking bird, that's a bit kind of dickish. To have a bird not only send fire, this wall of flame, but blow you straight towards it. Which, I understand that's kind of the point. But on top of that, we get common. On top of that, we have specials. On top of that, after we kill that, we have another boss. By then, we don't have any health. We're coming low on ammo but it was nice to have the ammo pouch but it was in the middle of the goddamn place and we had to run and get it where there's still common coming after us and we're already in the red with all that with all that coming together i have to say this is not it comes to a point where it felt difficult a little bit too much that's why i think it was a little overwhelming um way often so i give it a half a star for that um I do like how they did it. It's just that it needs to give us a little bit more of a break or at least kind of give us a chance. Otherwise, it was constant spawn, and I didn't like that. Maybe, like, throw in a few more uh, health items. Well, it's mainly in the second part that I had a problem with because it didn't really give us a whole lot of health. It gave us a health in the spawn. We had to use it immediately just because we got wrecked in the first part. And when we got to the second part of the stuff... We have no health. We have no nothing. We had a defib, which was nice. But by the final part, we had maybe one health kit left because we got wrecked going up those fucking staircase, that, up that freaking set of arenas. Yeah. And when we had that one head kit, med kit left, it was either we had to save it or we used it and relied on the fact that we only had three defibrillators. Again, you can use defibrillators as your wish, but still. So I, we're gonna move on. We already got the scores on this. Um, length of campaign. Uh, what meta? What do you think about that? Hmm. What did it say? It took us an hour and six minutes, but that's with five restarts. I thought it was supposed um, to be an hour twenty. I swear I said yeah. an hour six. It could I be swear right. I said an hour twenty. But it's still over an hour. It feels like an hour. Um, honestly, this map should amount to about 30. I would say 45, between 30 and 45. So, for like three maps combined together, I would have to say, well, yeah, that seems like a... That seems, yeah, that seems about the right time because it was certainly difficult enough. Yeah. It certainly pushed us to our limit points where we were just about to our, like, limits when we were just about to just collapse from exhaustion. Mm hmm. And then when we thought that we were going to get screwed over, yeah. there it was the safe room. And thank God for those safe rooms. Those safe rooms are like, those are like the breath of fresh air from all the chaos that we were put through. Yeah. So you know what? I'm going to give the length. I'm going to give the length a full star. All right. I think uh, it's absolutely fine. All right. Uh, Kyo? Oh, well, let's see the length. Well, there's a lot of restarts we did. Mm hmm. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, I'm just, I want to give it a full star. It's my opinion. I say it's a full star. All right. Uh, Dread? I'll give it a full star because it, it felt like it was 
long enough for what we played. All right. I'll give it three quarters. Uh, my reasoning is that there are five restarts we did. And when I try to average it out just by my mind itself, I'm not using a calculator or anything, it comes out to about 15 to 18 minutes a piece per restart. That would be judging how long the map is. Um, in theory. <laughs> but then the fact is, there is the fact that we had checkpoints there is the fact that it does have that difficulty being a factor of length um if it wasn't for the restarts and it still took about a half hour or something which i'm thinking that's what it did take us is about a half hour then it would be a full but it's because of the restarts that i can't give it the full yet um we'd have to play the map again and try to not die ever or force a restart basically so yeah We'll move on from that. Uh, difficulty fitting. This is going to be an interesting score for all of us. Um, Meta, what do you think about it? You know what? <laughs> I had no problems with the difficulty. I think. I think. Um. Uh, yeah, I really don't have any many uh, quarrels with how difficult it was. I think that if we really did dedicate ourselves to it, which we kind of did, like, you get, we went through the map, like, I think, I think we went through each of the maps about one re one or two restarts each, and we eventually just figured out what to do first, what was the main priority. Right. And so, after a while, you do eventually figure out what you need to do. But mm -hmm. even with that, it's still kind of tough where you do where it, teamwork really counts. Right. So I'm gonna give it a full star because with the right amount of teamwork, you can get through this map. But it's still tough on you. Right. Okay, Q. I mean, this wasn't a very consistent difficulty at all, in my opinion, actually. A very little bit too much, I think, to give it a full stall. I like consistency. This stuff just didn't bring that. Nope, mm -hmm. not one bit. And what was there? And you, in Ponza, you just had too much control over the difficulty. Yeah. The slider, like if you get on, you know, just move it a little bit. Just let, get like what special effect to show up, take that out, and just move it some more. Well, that's what we figured out in the very first run. Yeah. Which kind of defeats the purpose of it, I think. Yeah. There's no point in that item there being there. It just makes it too easy then. Right. But if you do it the right way, it makes it too difficult. Yeah. Alright. Uh, and then those... I mean, it had decent stuff, but... Hmm... This is the, like, I'm going to draw in here between a quarter star or half a star here. I'm going to flip a coin. Heads is half a star. Tails, it's the other one. Mm -hmm. anyway. it's, not, it's not even a score. It's just the other one. <laughs> I got tails, so it's quarter star. Oh, yes. Wow. All right. Uh, Dread? I'll give it half a star because I kind of go with Meta and Keo. You kind of need actual teamwork to get through this fast, like giving pain pills when mm -hmm. someone who's red really needs them. Mm -hmm. Instead of running out of the safe room into the area where we're supposed to go. Yeah. And that's called trolling, Dread. You should know that. <laughs> Sparkle shop. <Shut up. laughs> I'm sorry. We had to. We had to put that example out. Anyway, um, I'm gonna give it a quarter. I'm with Keo. It's all over the place when it comes to difficulty. Um, a lot of times it's just over way too much stuff going on at once. It's hard to control the battle, and then you have a slider, which you suddenly have the break time. You can take an intermission, intermission in the middle of one, like we did. Um, it's stuff like that. 
when you can control the difficulty, it kind of destroys the point of how the review is made. Um, and it ruins kind of how it should be played. It shouldn't have that. I mean, it would have been better if someone just pushed it and it continued to go and it's continuously spawned because then you don't have control of the difficulty. Um, uh, what else is there? Uh, the bosses, some of them are just, they're harder than hell to hit because you have all the common around. Um, I well, understand. One of the things about the bosses is that when I was black and white, the flying caterpillar thing, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell which, see the spots because the spots never vanished. Well, that's kind of a, a graphical thing, though. That's something that the creator really can't help. Um, it would have been better, though, is not have so much specials in common being spawned there. I mean, yeah, I understand it's a point of the arena and it's kind of a gauntlet, but some of the bosses are really hard to fucking see where you're supposed to hit them. Um, specifically, yeah. like the tank one, you have the two, like four spots in there, and at first we didn't even know what we were supposed to hit until it came closer to us. Um, there really is no indication of that. There's also the fact that even when the final boss, which is that bird, well, not the bird, but I'm talking about mainly the bird. It's that we, when we shot at it, it didn't show any indication of us getting hurt until it started swooping down, which is another indication that it's kind of hard to tell. It's like, are we supposed to shoot it or not? And when we started not shooting at it, that's when it started swooping down. It's stuff like that. Um, that kind of ruins difficulty. You don't have control of the situation. Um, yeah, we did have teamwork. Even if we did persevere, there was still the fact that there's way too many specials spawning out. There's not enough health around to contain the situation. It's really hard to get anywhere near a full star. Unless you are good, well into the difficulty. This one is just way off consistency compared to the last map, which it was consistent throughout. Um, so yeah, that's my rating on that. Actually, something quick about difficulty is that Keep going. I looked at the map again today, mm -hmm. and it said on there as like a warning or something that said can be still can be very challenging even on easy. I, I can imagine so. Huh? Easy, all it does is it changes health on certain uh, um, specials, like the tank, for instance, and it deals more damage. It's the only differences between them. It, really, you'll still have all this common. It still can be very difficult. That's all it's doing. It makes you more powerful. It makes the common less powerful. It makes the specials less powerful. It does a lot of different stuff. Does it turn off friendly file? Mm, I don't know about that. I, I think never... it does. If it's on easy, I think it does. But normal, it doesn't. We already know that for a fact. <laughs> We've killed each other enough to know that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on to design of the map. I think we can all agree it's a one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's a fairly good map all around. Um, it's it's not like the first four were. I mean, of course, last map was very well pretty and everything. But prior to that, we had the first map, which was just boring. The third one was kind of the same way. It did have some better issues compared to the first one, but it was still kind of boring. It was bland. It didn't have anything showing. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's all we can say, really. It's a better map overall. And finally, to the recommendations. I will reveal all mine at the very end. But for it goes with you guys first. So, Meta, would you recommend this? Hmm. Um, well, as challenging as it is, it's kind of up in the air. If you casually play Left 4 Dead 2, you probably shouldn't be playing this map. But if you're... Uh, if you're like a skilled veteran, then you know what? I'd say test your skills on this map and see how good you actually are. Mm -hmm. See if you can beat this on expert. Yeah. Realism. Realism expert, no HUD. Uh, to be fair, though, I can only say one map is more challenging than this one, and that would probably be Death Hour. <laughs> only because of how much it just spawned tanks and specials and common at all times. 
Death Hour was okay. I don't get why you guys well, thought that, it was so bad. Well, you're a masochist, Dredd, so shut up. Why I didn't like the fact that? that it had... Comment, like, and subscribe if you think Night Trolls Dread too much. <laughs> <laughs> we had that before. Anyway, what's your recommendation? What's the star point meta? Um, I'm going to put that at half a star. All right. Uh, kill. I kind of would go agree with him. It's really just the what this map is. It's really a, a conclusion to a storyline, you know. If you haven't bothered to play through the story, why bother playing this map? Right. So half the stall because only half the people are really gonna bother. Yeah. Uh, Dread, would you recommend it? Uh, I'll I'll give it three quarters because if it's kind of like what Meta said, if you're new to Left 4 Dead or you don't play Left 4 Dead much, you're not gonna want to play this. Especially if you're someone new that has a group of people that are new and want to play some custom maps and start playing these maps. These are just way too hard for that. But then again. You have the probably really hardcore people like Meta that can play on Expert and higher difficulties like that, which will probably just play through this just to challenge themselves. So I'll give it three quarters. Okay. Um, I'll reveal mine in a second. I'm going to tally up your guys' points in a second here because I had to find another pin because my one died. Anyway, um, Meta, you gave it four and a half. Uh, Kyo, you gave three and a half. Dread, and you had this. Okay, I think you gave it four. Let me ch make sure. Yeah, you gave it four on the dot. And I gave it two and a half. And that's actually the official, because I do not recommend this. The reason why I don't recommend this is because you need to play the entire thing by itself in order to know what the fuck you're doing. Um, a lot of it is because when you take on the bosses, you don't know what to shoot at. You just don't. Without knowing that information, you're not going to figure it out unless you start shooting at random places. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you don't know why there are space jockeys. There is a storyline to it. If you don't know the storyline, you're going to be so goddamn confused why you're here, what you're supposed to do, what is the point of this, and how did you get here? It's kind of the same way what Valve did to the core maps. They all had a story taking place, and how you got there is from the previous one. Um, so yeah, if you, I mean, people could play it and they want to play ma their masochistic ways of doing it. Go ahead, but in order to do this, you have to do a straight run from the first one all the way to now, and that's the only way to do it. Now, with that said, this is for the rest of one. The first map, I don't recommend at all. It's just boring, it's unforgiving, and with that being said, it's just a zero. It just did not impress me. Um, I couldn't I couldn't stand playing that again. We've tried like three or four different retries on that before, and uh, I just didn't like it. The second map was a half a star. I did like how it was designed. Um, I liked the idea behind it. It could be improved, um, which it was in the fourth one, but it just it was overall a better map compared to the first one. The third one, full of fucking glitches, full of stuff that needs to be addressed and fixed it needs to be officially taken out of beta on left or dead maps the guy has not done that yet and the last one which is last map i do recommend that one and only because that is actually quite fun it's easier it's balanced it does everything right so that's my tallies on that so with that all said we're done we're done with this epic one. How do you guys feel about that? Um, <sighs> I oh, kind no. of wouldn't recommend playing the whole series at all. Myself. Yeah. 
I would not actually recommend to start this one at all, even to experienced people. I, I didn't think it was that great overall. Individually, kind of good. Individually, overall, yeah. I, I didn't like the overall thing. Alright. Uh, anybody else want to comment about it? I don't know. I kind I kind of think recommending the whole thing would be somewhat of a good idea, mainly if you got like four people and you're doing a LAN party or something. Uh, I got a better idea. How about we do this? Uh, out of ten for the whole campaign, that's what we're going to give it. Okay? Meta, what would you get it out of ten? Just for the whole f- five, all five campaigns combined as one. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Okay. Keo, what would you give it? Two out of ten. Okay. Dread, what would you give it? Five out of ten. All right. And I'm going to give it a three out of ten. It, it's just one of those things where you kind of have to be playing at least expert level almost to actually be able to get passed through it. Most of these maps, um, you got to know, okay, how to play with teamwork. You got to have a good team. I mean, we could play derp and we did for the first one. And then we started actually becoming serious as we played on because we were tired of losing. We just couldn't do it no more. And when we were playing on the other ones, we were still not figuring it out. This map, last map, yeah, it did have a checkpoint system that was a plus, but it meant nothing in my eyes. It really didn't mean anything because we were still getting wrecked on the field. And for me, you know, I'm a person who loves a good story, and you did not tell a very good one through this overarching map that's supposed to tell a story. Right. And that's always a major hit in my book. Right. It had a good theme. That's a plus. It yes. just. It didn't it bring out that's... that theme. Yeah, I mean, if it had, it would have probably been more worthwhile overall, but... Yeah. I mean, it just felt like, oh, I'm heal now. Now I'm heal. Now I'm heal. This I, feel that these, I feel that these maps have a lot of potential to be so much better, but they kind of aren't. Yeah. They could use. They could still use work and improvement, and that can be done through time. Yeah, I don't know if the guy is even going to work on him anymore. So, well, it's been there for what near two years now. It's it's hit a point where I don't think it's going to be worked on anymore. I mean, last backton was his most recent. I think I don't. I'm not going to take my word for it, but it's just it comes to a point where yeah, it's fun, and then it just becomes no fun. At all, and at first it's like, okay, we play it. It looks fun. It looks cool. Then suddenly it just gets balls hard. And to an inexperienced player, it's gonna suck for them. They're gonna hate it. They're gonna say, "I'm never gonna trust another fucking mod again," especially with this because it's just too damn challenging. Or they're gonna play it on easy mode, and if they still can't beat it, they're not gonna want to play it ever again. It once you hit a point, this these five maps combined. Even with the fourth one being how good it was in terms of balance, everything else is not. This one, this last map, last back ton, was consistent up and down. It would go up, it would be incredibly hard, and the other one, you have full control of how difficulty plays out. It's just stupid. Um, the third one, the third one was glitched, ridden. It got, it got annoying after a while. It can get. It can get um, difficult, and if someone doesn't know to put emblems in the thing, you don't know where the health is, or you won't have the health. It, it just it relied on too many other things to know before you got to this. The second one, I don't see why they needed to put a freaking pyramid in there, and that made it so goddamn hard to climb. Um, that, and they left the what the awesome room where you get all the shit out of just before it which is nice to have but it's useless after you get out of there and the first one was just bland boring it didn't have anything going for it just a lot of zombies it's an arena that's it so yeah this map is just not that this map series is not that great at all it should it could have been done better by at least maybe combining it all and putting it into one and then balancing all the difficulty to it that's all it really needs to do is just balance the difficulty and make it one giant campaign. I've seen maps that are designed like that. And one particular is called Resident Evil. Outbreak. And Silent Hill. 
Silent Hill is another one. And as much as I hate that one because it's like 12 fucking parts and it takes like three hours just to get to part six, it's still – they made it that way because it's the way it should be played. This actually, match, I bet it, actually, I bet if we put in as much effort – as we did through all these maps, we probably could have beaten Silent Hill. Yeah, but we would need to start like about six hours prior than normal our normal starting time, Drake. Right? I know, but I'm just saying that if we put in that much effort, we probably could have beat Silent Hill. That is true. I'll give it that. But overall, yeah, this this is not a good map series. We, I flat out don't recommend ever playing any of these maps. Not even for number four, as much as I do like that one. Um... That's all I can really say about it. Uh, if you guys have to anything else to add to that, go ahead. Nah, I think I'm good. Okay. I think everybody else might be too. I'm guessing. I don't know, you guys. Yes. Okay. Meta's still being quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely fine. Alright. Alright, so with that, um, we'll be doing a different review next week. Which will be a nice change of pace. We already have that planned. We're still waiting for a title card for our Let's Plays whenever that gets done. Thanksgiving kind of slowed that part down, so we get to wait at least, what, another week to two weeks before that fucker gets it done? I know. Black Friday probably also slowed people down too, because it's probably think we funerals. Should I don't think I'm, I'm joking, you know. We're going to wait. I mean, we got Black Friday. I understand Christmas is coming up. Everything's going to be slowed down. I'm, I'm just, just saying I'm just saying Black Friday because there's most of like, more than likely at least a few people died this year. What's Black Friday, Dread? I, I know, I'm just saying. Black people Black get Friday. I've seen people get shot on Black Friday just because they want a Nintendo Wii. Okay? okay. Didn't someone also shoot someone for a PS3 when that came out? Yeah, that too. Yeah, that happened. Plus and I think that also on Black Fridays. The Black Friday and is I... not the date you want to go outside your house because I swear you're gonna like uh uh-uh. uh. You have to be afraid on that day. Do your or shopping online. Or at least bring a weapon with you. You have to go out on Black Friday. No, bring a bulletproof vest. That's the, what you do. You bring a bulletproof vest and you bring yourself a, bra- a set of brass knuckles and you just hope for dear God no one shoots you. And you wear a pretty sturdy helmet. I don't think you need to do that, but you can. Well, just in case one tries shooting you in the head. You need a really, really bulletproof one then. <laughs> Most yeah, of that's I'd say not... a really sturdy helmet. Yeah, that requires a lot of metal. <laughs> I don't think there is a bulletproof helmet outside of what the police have. Well, that stuff really isn't... You can buy that consumer, though. Yeah, but I've hardly... I don't think anybody in would actually buy it because then I don't see the point of ever using it unless it's on Black Friday or you're in the middle of a right, right situation. It's not really the only time I've ever seen it. There's plenty of good reasons to buy one. You just haven't thought of it yet. Black Friday, Friday one... Black Friday, one of the reasons why retail employees get hazard pay. Fuck. Anyway. We Meta, got, you know we what to do. Way off track. Meta, you know, what you, you know what to do for the end of the video. Yeah, Meta, do your thing. Do your banana shoes, whatever. Walking around in my banana shoes. I do really like that song. But, um, like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> And be sure, and please, please leave a comment. I I cannot emphasize that enough. Your feedback helps us be better, to help us do better at our show. Even if it's just like, just talking about what goes on in the video, just comment. Just comment anything. All the commenting. If you don't feel like commenting on the video, comment on our Steam profiles, because I'm pretty sure people can do that. Uh, well, that's relying on the fact that they've actually seen the playthrough video to know what our Steam names are. I get a uh, lot of views on my stuff. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Just no one comments, no one likes, they just watch it. Like, and I don't uh, really think they watch the whole video. Uh, anyway, see you all later. Stay tuned next week. We will do a new review, and we don't have to worry about this set of maps ever again until we find a new set 
and then we're gonna shoot somebody. And it's like, no, back. Next time, it's back to school with the finding elements. Well, thanks, Meta, for ruining us that. You just spoiled it to everybody. We're trying to. Well, keep you just school. ruined it too. I said we're gonna do it next week. I never said. Fuck. I don't say maps. Anyway, bye.